What's up, Gemini? Welcome to 5-Minute Zodiacs with your girl, Goddess Delphi. I'm so happy to be here to give you a message. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. You guys, this is just going to be a general reading. Um, I do personal, so hit me up if you want a personal. And hit the like, share, subscribe button. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't, all right? So let's get a message out for Gemini. Prime Source Creator. Jesus, Holy Spirit, Mother, Ascended Masters, Galactic Angels of the Highest Divine Truth, Ancestors of the Highest Divine Truth and Light, I ask you to protect me, guide me, and give me the highest message for Gemini. The end of a tough cycle approaches, guys, so that's beautiful. Capricorn energy out here as well. A time to give rather than take. So, you know, old things that weren't working are now being left behind. And I feel like you're happy about it. Because there's new, there's a new flow coming in here. Yeah, look, a new start is coming. There's a new flow coming in. And it has to do with accomplishing your dreams. Okay? Understanding that you are the man for the job. You are the woman for the job. You are the one. I heard gatekeeper. You are the one that source chose. I'm being told to light my Palo Santo. So let me just go ahead and light the Palo Santo and clear the energy. Working on your solar plexus as well. You are getting um, crown, third eye, and heart ascension. I'm hearing specifically, this is a timeless reading, but through the portals. You know, the one one ones, the two two twos, and you might be seeing one ones, two two twos. I'm hearing synchronicities that your guides, your ancestors speaking to you. Message for Gemini. It's time for healing. Healing that solar plexus. My right ear just started ringing, so you guys might be getting ringing in the ears. And that's just to, to give you confirmation when you're going through your daily life. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. You guys may have Taurus in your chart because a lot of this reminds me of the Taurus reading as well. It is a little slightly different though. But it's so important for you to remain balanced, okay? Because I feel like you can go, you know, and it's funny because this is a Gemini reading, but I feel like you can go either way. Like, you could be, like, super 3D or you could be super spiritual, you know? And spirit wants you to be both, to do both, you know? Prosperity lies ahead. And luck is on your side. So you got good things coming in. You got money coming in. I see love coming in as well. I heard, who shot the sheriff? I don't know what the fuck that means. Who shot the sheriff? Hmm. Oh, man, I don't know. Maybe you felt like you were always in control of your of your love life, or your your you feel like you were super. What is that called? Like disciplined when it comes to your heart. Um, but I feel like your heart is going to be struck by prosperity and love and abundance and that's beautiful Ashe. your dreams need a practical plan so yeah show the world the real you so your dreams need a, pla a practical plan you guys write down you know a vision, write down your manifestations, write down what you want to accomplish, write down how you're going to accomplish it, how you're going to get there. Source creator, message for Gemini, Holy Spirit, message for Gemini. 
sweeten. What is mine to share? The honeybee. So you got the honeybee totem coming in here. Okay. Sweeter than honey. I feel like your soul is so sweet. <laughs> I feel like maybe people, everybody doesn't see you like that, Gemini. Like maybe people think that, people think that you're sweet, but maybe they're afraid that you, because you have a side that might sting you. You know, bees are sweet. They can give you honey, but they can also sting you. What is mine to share? Look, charm. So you're very sweet and charming here. What if everything already is working out so i feel like you have a very positive vibe that you stay upbeat and people love that about you they love that energy you might be seeing bees as well as ladybugs or also sunflowers i feel like you're very optimistic and i feel like you want to share your optimism with everybody which is beautiful but also, you can tell when someone's trying to charm you. I heard snake charmer. You can tell when somebody's trying to charm you. Um, look, stalk. You can tell when somebody's trying to stalk you or charm you. Hold up. <laughs> this shit made me laugh. Because it's like, it says, is my pursuit honorable and focused? So I feel like somebody's intention might be because they want the honey, if you know what I mean. And it's like they want your sweet energy. They want your they want your charm and they know you want to share it too. But at the same time, it's like, what is these people's focus? Is it honorable? You know? And I feel like you're really good at being able to tell if somebody's intention is honorable or not. Okay, this is the last card. How can I know myself as absolute B? So I feel like, here's the sun energy. I feel like you are, it says bison. I feel like you're really strong footed. Okay, and... Source wants you to really be grounded in, in your light. Look, how am I the light in darkness? Radiate with the sun. Radiate with the sun. You're radiating just by being. Just by being yourself. You're, you're fucking beautiful. Dang. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this. Love you, Geminis. Peace.